Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create a new monitoring view in Autosys Web UI. Let's understand the monitoring view. Monitoring views allow you to monitor job flows grouped by business applications or units. You can filter and list jobs based on a specific criteria, such as jobs for a department or a set of applications. Monitoring views helps to manage job flows in summary graphs, tables, or graphical flows. As an administrator, you can configure access to views based on user roles, ensuring controlled access to job data. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Hedmeral Bank to configure a monitoring view. Hedmeral Bank, a global financial institution, recently implemented Autosys to streamline its job scheduling and monitoring processes. As part of its digital transformation, the bank launched a new mobile banking application that processes thousands of transactions daily. The compliance team requires real-time monitoring of critical financial transactions to ensure that any delays or failures are immediately addressed. The IT operations team has been tasked with creating a custom monitoring view for these critical jobs. The team decided to create a monitoring view focused exclusively on jobs related to the critical transactions workload. Let's enter our training environment to create a new monitoring view in Autosys Web UI. Log in to Autosys Web UI and navigate to the monitoring interface. Ensure Views tab is selected on the left side of the navigational panel. Double-click the Views folder to open it. Here, you'll find all existing views. To add a new view, click Add in the Views widget. The View Editor dialog opens. Here, we can configure our new monitoring view. Provide a unique name for the view in the Name field. Select Next Start Time from the Job Columns drop-down to add additional columns. Provide a simple description under the Description field. To add a filter, click Add Filter. The Create Filter section opens. Select Required Server from the drop-down list. Next, click Add Filter Expression to add one or more expressions as required. Select Application from the Attribute drop-down list. Ensure Like Operator is selected. Select Train from the Value drop-down list. Click Save Expression to save this filter expression. Now, click on Save Filter to save the filter. Finally, click on Save to save the new monitoring view. You can see that the new monitoring view is now listed in the Views table. Click on the newly created monitoring view to see the list of jobs and their status. Now. Let's click on the newly created monitoring view in the left navigation panel to see its summary details. Thank you for watching this demo.